Hello, my friends. So I know that times are weird and times are tough. And this whole pandemic is affecting us in lots of different ways and some very scary ways and ways that we don't even quite know what's going to happen. And we're all trying to hold it together, me included. I have my fine days, I have my good days, and I have my bad days. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate to all of that. But today's video, I thought I would share with you one of my favorite people on the planet. And actually, I know that she's one of your favorite people as well, and that is Dana. You all know Dana from the videos. We've been on countless adventures together. But Dana is one of the most incredible humans I have ever met. And I am very fortunate to call her one of my best friends. And a little bit of backstory is I met her at her cafe here in Boulder a little over 10 years ago. She owns the Walnut Cafe. It's this beautiful spot with great food and great community. And that's how we, we first met. And since then, you know, we've been on bike adventures. She's helped crew me at the Havelina 100. She has helped hug me after multiple breakups and heartaches. She helped counsel me when I decided to stop drinking alcohol about five years ago. Dana has one of the biggest hearts of any human I have ever met. She donated a kidney to her brother at one point. She has been through a lot herself and she's gained a wisdom from all of that. As a boss, she has about 90 employees and she takes care of them like family. I mean, she's told me countless stories of her paying rent for employees that come to her and need a little extra help or whatever they need. Dana and Xantha are there for them. And right now, Dana and Xantha have put in a ton of their own money to keep paying their employees and keep feeding them food because they mean a lot to her. And Dana and Xantha are not like super rich people. They own a, you know, a successful business, but they're just straight up generous. And what I love most about Dana is her kindness and her heart. And I go to her when times are tough and I, and I get mentorship and, and wisdom. And you know, we hang out a lot when times are good too. I would say 95% of the time we hang out, we're having a, a great time riding bikes or goofing around or watching Christmas movies or whatever it is. And so I thought I would go over to Dana's house today and just sit down and ask her some questions and hopefully she will glean her wisdom on us and I really hope you enjoy it. I'm sure you will because you already love Dana. So let's go over to Dana's house. So it looks like we're not six feet apart, but with the magic of cameras, we really are six yeah. feet apart, so don't worry. Yeah, we got the tape measure out right over there. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Yep. So first question, and this is a very important one. What is your favorite flavor of pie? Ooh, that is an important one. You know, I ask people this all the time. Like, if you could only have one pie for the whole rest of your life, what would it be? Because that's a big commitment. That is. It's totally. like marrying pie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go with chess what? pie. <laughs> what? Chess pie? Chess pie, yeah. <laughs> and no one knows, like, I know. So Do you know what like, chess what pie is? is? Chess pie. Chess pie is like this old southern recipe, and uh, it's mostly the flavor is vanilla, but it has cornmeal in it, and of course, sugar and butter, and it's really simple. But part of it is, my mom used to make chess pie. Okay. And she would have these things called bridge club, where everybody, like, the little ladies came and played bridge, right? Yeah. And they would have, like, a saucer with black coffee, and I call it a sipping pie. Sip because and pie. you just take, like, a little bit. It goes a long way because it's super sweet. And uh, I right. remember rushing home from school to see if they finished all the pie. Okay. But yeah, chess pie, man, it, it's chess a sleeper, pie. but it is so good. But now we get into the heavy stuff. What do you do, Dana? Because I look to you. What do you do when, uh, when times get tough? And you can talk about yeah. this exact moment, but also, I mean, you've been through a lot of stuff in your life. It's true. Um, well, first, Ryan, the reason you come to me is not because I'm all that wise. <laughs> I just have more experience because I'm older. <laughs> That's so not why. As soon as you're like my age, you're going to be like, 
some whippersnapper being like, hey, I'm going to go to Ryan for advice, <laughs> although that's hard to imagine. They I come to you for pie. <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, but it is, it is a tough time. Yeah. And, of course, I, boy, I have been in it. Like, yeah. I'm, d I'm just going to talk about the COVID-19 experience okay. in yeah. particular. Like, because, yeah, we, I mean, we've had a lot of grief in our life. Like, you know, oh my God, my brother passing, my parents passing, you know, crunching up my body and stuff. But, um, this particular instance, yeah. and you've seen it, but boy, I have felt it. Yeah. Um, mostly because I'm a small business owner and I have three little restaurants yep. and people really do get super close. Like you're a family yeah. and that has been my, my biggest anxiety yeah. is, you know, the, the whole future of like those people, I have people who have been with me like my kitchen manager has been with, with me since 1989. No. Yeah, so it's like, and people have, you know, a lot of seniority. Um, they've been there a long time. So I have really felt it. And I think that we're all collectively grieving because there's this big thing of like, what's going to happen out here? And we don't know. Yeah. We don't know at all. That scares the out there's of There's children us. watching. I know. The out of us <laughs> um, because we really don't know like what yeah. is it what does it look like what does it look like next week what does it look like next year yeah. like we don't know and how this is like changed the world forever so boy I have had some days for sure where I was just grieving yeah grieving what was and because we know it's never going to be the same because we've had this experience yeah so I'm telling you I like had a few days where I was just like a mess and then when that happens because yep. it happens to all of us I have to there were a couple of times I just had to like yank myself in to the present yep. the present moment and just be like okay there's nothing wrong with right here right now and I know some people like you could yank yourself back into the present and maybe you're granddad is in a hospital bed suffering from this or you know whatever it is mm -hmm. but the the angst that most of us feel is what we're whipping up yeah like our storyline of what could happen or yeah. what might happen humans are good at that we get oh, wrapped up so in good. stuff and start work and we can't oh, we're sleep because so we're like this is gonna yeah. happen and this is gonna happen and ah my life's gonna yeah. crumble yeah yeah it's and then crazy. you wake up and usually yeah. it's okay yeah feel better yeah so you you got to be super present you gotta yeah. become like the jedi of yeah be right here don't be way out there yeah and then you know uh the other thing is um it has helped me so much throughout any challenge i've had my entire life once i got this dialed in um that's when i started appearing to be wise <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> And it's, uh, I mean, I talk about it a lot, like my superpower being kindness. Yeah. But really what that is, is getting out of yourself. Yeah. And looking of ways to be of service, uh, looking for ways to contribute, like um, listening to someone, mm -hmm. uh, actually doing a errand for someone, like uh, paying somebody's rent, like yeah. feeding someone, like any. Thing yeah. that you can do um, it's it gets you out of yourself and it's great at putting you right yeah. in the present I have this uh, and I'm sure you've seen it you I'm sure you have heard me talk about it but I have this mantra sometimes when I'm in you know it, it it's possible I could go down the rabbit hole yeah. you know like when I can recognize that one well, wow man I have got to get out of this basis going forward um, I think I could just tell it off my head I my mantra is I'm grateful yeah like you've got to start there yeah for sure you you got to start there so I'm grateful I accept like that's huge because yeah. you know 
like look at the situation we're in like yeah. we don't accept it then we're never going to be content yeah. we're, we're never going to get to a space of right now is okay um i appreciate so not even acceptance but appreciating um i look for ways to contribute so we talked about that yeah um i care about others yeah Getting yourself out of the way. Yeah. <clears throat> I care about life because, again, you have to recognize how amazing it is that we get another day here. Yeah. Um, I am in, this is the, the next part, I am in awe of life. Yeah. And grateful to be a part of it. So that particular little thing, it's it just pulls it all home for me, man, because yeah. it's like, not just grateful, but just being in awe, like that we get to have this journey. And, you know, it, that pulls me back. And, you know, I don't, I don't want it to seem like, and you know this, like that, you know, yes, our superpower may be kindness, but it doesn't mean that we're just superheroes and that we don't yeah, you hurt, don't feel, and that you we don't, don't cry, <clears throat> and that we don't grieve, and that we don't, get angry, you yeah. know, at, at this and everything. But, um, you always have to though, come back to now mm -hmm. and, you know, having experienced some loss, I mean, we all have, one of the things is like, just knowing that we are going to lose, like eventually we just get old and yeah. you know hopefully right it's part of life. You get old and you die and all that happens but um when we think about today right now yeah right now like everything that we have we have to be grateful for for sure because you don't even know if that's happening again totally tomorrow could be a completely yeah. different thing it can all be taken away in a moment's notice and that's really been important for me and yeah. it's something as i get older and wiser to your jedi there level you go. <laughs> I do appreciate the little things. We were just sitting outside looking at the clouds and I was like, wow, the clouds look really cool today. And I can get lost in that moment. Whereas when I was in high school, I don't think I would have really cared that much about clouds or nature or a bumblebee flying on a flower. Like, oh, that's cool. That's part of life. But I'm more focused on girls and bikes and college or whatever. But now it's, it's the little things. Yeah. You know? Because that's part of the journey. Yeah. So you've always been a big athlete your entire life and getting outside for you is very important that's one of our main connectors for sure is going yeah, on yeah, adventures being yeah. outside have you always been that way and if not what's some advice for us to get out there more you know uh, and, and the, what does it do for your heart and your soul <laughs> from the get out there guy from the get out there guy <laughs> yes <laughs> um yes i i really have but uh you know that comes i think it's the same is you anyone who's fortunate enough to like have a little gang around your neighborhood you know yeah. just like growing up with the neighborhood kids and um being outside and just spending as much time as possible out there there's a freedom about that yeah. um you know when you talk about riding your bike how much freedom yeah. you got and there's a freedom about just you know having a couple of pals and you know stomping around in the woods and yeah. you know or just having your feet in the dirt and and just that kind of play yeah right? play that's a, the key yeah. word i think as we get yes. older as we become adults playing is seen as something yeah. that's only for kids yeah and adults don't play as much anymore yeah. you think about we're in our houses we're in our offices we're in our yeah. cars we're inside all the time we're not really connected to mother nature yeah. all that much anymore yeah but you have held on to it and i think a lot of the audience here they yeah. you know they realize the importance of getting outside but it can be hard sometimes you get a little depressed or the weather's not perfect or maybe right. you're you have a blister on your toe or something but just for me some of like the most simple moments of walking barefoot in the grass can just make me feel ah oh, this is great yeah it's so good because that's a little planet you know that yeah. is our playground but um i've actually been playing yeah. more during this time what i mean is like i'm not like um oh i'm going for you know 30 40 mile bike ride i'm going to go from here to there and yeah. then ride back whatever i'm doing more of just taking my you know commuter bike yep. and jumping priority on it. 600 it is <laughs> and uh i don't 
I don't have a timeline. I don't have a place to go. Yeah. I'm not doing any of that. And I am just yeah. exploring <clears throat> and just, well, you know what? It feeds my soul. Like, I'm glad you asked this. Okay. I'm just doing this. Like, I, I'm riding around. I'm wearing my, you know, buff thing because that's the kind, considerate thing to do. And it's not great to, like, hammer up a hill, you know, with your thing on. But Especially um, if you have bad breath. Exactly. But anybody that I see, like if I'm encountering anyone, I make sure my yeah. buff is up. But I'm just riding around Boulder and exploring and, you know, doing different things. And here's my thing. Whenever I see people, this has been awesome. <laughs> Instead of just like, because, you know, you can't like smile with your eyes or whatever. You get this. And so I've just been throwing the peace sign. Oh, good. And you know what happens? It's so crazy. Like almost everybody like throws the peace sign back. <laughs> Rather than like, you know, <clears throat> wave and whatever, we're just like, peace. Yeah. And it kind of means more to me right now because of that collective shared experience yeah. of like, we know, like we're all going through something. We don't know it, it, all the exacts, but we're all going through something. So it almost feels better to just say peace. Yeah. You know, offer that up totally. instead of, I don't know. It's kind of reminds me when I've done some bike tours and the Harley dudes ride the other direction. They always like wave or do the little Harley yeah, yeah. sign to you, yeah. to even the cyclists. Yeah. And it's just a nice way to connect with a human for just a split second. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's all it takes yeah. to connect with another human is a smile or just, a, you know, one of these, mm -hmm. the, the peace yeah. sign. And it's like, yeah. okay. Yeah. I have a community and I have a neighbor and I feel like I'm part of this and that, that's big for yeah. people. With what's going on, there's lots of information and misinformation and everybody kind of thinks they're an expert in some way and that's just how humans work and it's easy to get, for lack of a better word, you know, angry with people mm -hmm. on social media or online or part of our community. They think, oh, what you're doing is stupid, there's no point wearing a mask or whatever it is. Right. And we were talking about this the other day about how we treat yeah. people in those moments. And let's, let's go back yeah. there because I think that's a very valuable lesson. Yeah. How do we treat people in those moments when you want to be a little sharp or, or you know, mm -hmm. get back at them on, you know, the Facebook yeah. or whatever it is, but you, you hold yeah. back. Yeah. Karen on Facebook. Karen everything. on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Karen knows no, everything. I don't know why they say Karen, but... Um, yeah, I think about this, I mean, it's a conscious decision. We were talking about that, where you have to choose it. And it's kind of like choosing kindness, Yeah. actually, because, you know, someone who's like attacking uh, someone on social media or whatever, and we've had it happen. Oh my God, we had someone go off yeah. on one of the restaurants. And I was like, are you kidding me? We're not even open. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, I have, for me personally, like I don't have uh, those kinds of conflicts mm -hmm. on social media, right? Because yeah. I just will not participate. Yeah. I just won't. Like I have that, is it kind, is it true, is it necessary? That's good. Like, Say that again louder. When you're posting on social media, I like to think, is it kind, is it true, is it necessary? Those are great. Like, you know, I don't, uh, I don't have to be right. Yeah. I don't have to, I don't mind sitting like this and having a conversation with someone. Like I'm really interested in yeah. someone's opinions and how they feel, but it can get really blown out yeah. on social media. Act with intention, yeah. like to slow down enough that you're like, how am I acting? And then one of the things I, that has really helped me in the last couple of weeks, and it's, um, Maybe it's thinking about judgment, but maybe judging myself, which yeah. I know people are, oh, I don't judge yourself, but this isn't a good way. I really was thinking about, okay, when we look back on this, yeah, like, you know, maybe it's next spring, maybe whatever, like, um, who, who do I want to be? Like, who, what kind of leader do you want to be? How yeah. do you, you know, what, what do you want to present? Yeah. Like, and... I, you know, I want to be genuine. I want to be authentic. I want to be me. But in all of those things, I really hope and try to in, really act in a way that it's kind. Yeah. And looking back on it, you want to be like, okay, 
I handled that situation in a mature way. I could have been a jerk, yeah. but I chose not to be a jerk. Yeah. And yeah. I'm proud of that. And I can yeah. look back on that conflict and yeah. be like, okay, yeah. I, I did it right. Because yeah. it's so easy just to like hammer back at somebody with a, you know, a quick know. little comment or something mean. Yeah. And it's really easy to be mean. You it know, is. somebody says something to you online or in real life and you're like, oh yeah, well you're a... I know. You know, just on social media, I think it's like real life. Like I don't, uh, I don't fight like that either. Yeah. Like, you know, with my wife, um, we have some boundaries and stuff like I just don't think you should have to say things or do things that you can't take back one of the things that I noticed that happens is that people do shoot off that comment or yeah. that or they post something that's like maybe off color or polarizing for people you know politically or whatever and they start to get this thread of like people just like rah, 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 going off and then all of a sudden it's like oh i was just joking yeah. it was just a joke well yeah. the joke created all of this energy yeah that went towards that yep the anger and the judgment and all of that stuff so no i don't uh, i don't see how that's uh helpful it's not like I just, it's not helpful at all, you know, but a lot of humans, even us, me, I mean, you go to that point where you're just like somebody, you know, insults yeah. you or something and it just, it feels bad and you want to be like, no, that's not true and this is why yeah, and, yeah. you know, it's sometimes you have to be the bigger person in those moments mm -hmm. and it's, it's hard, but it's, I think it's something that we all need to remember, especially right now because there's so much going on. We live in a, we live in a very polarized world. Yeah politically and every other way and it's so easy to be like you're wrong and you're dumb and you're wrong and you're dumb and this is why and then you have to think like when you're thinking that way about you're wrong and you're dumb and you're wrong and you're dumb yeah and they're just like on to the next thing that's happening yeah they're just like on to the next conflict on social media or yeah. whatever and they're not even thinking about it yeah probably they're like oh i got in the last word whatever but you yeah. are thinking about it. So the only person it affects, it's, and I know that everybody's like, you know, but it is, you're the only one who's yeah. holding yeah. that anger. Holding anger does, yeah. does no good nope. at all. Just like when we're, when we're really kind to someone or we do acts of kindness, yeah. not only does that, is that great for the recipient yeah it makes you yeah. feel amazing totally so i sometimes say that kindness is selfish because yeah. it feels so great <laughs> that you're good. like whoa yeah. you know man she is so selfish <laughs> yeah. selfishly kind. kind why is she so nice to In everybody a super kind way yeah. but yeah it's true i mean it feels it feels great to be yeah. contributing and be of service i'm just trying to be thoughtful yeah act with intention be brave yeah this is one of the biggest challenges of my career and um i, I it's almost an honor to have the experience that yeah. sounds really crazy but it's like part of the journey yeah. like of course i would go through a global pandemic before <laughs> yeah. i go out yeah right? but i'm glad i'm glad that it's me yeah. i'm glad that i'm doing it and uh I don't know if that's a arrogant kind of thing no. or whatever. It's like the guy that wants the ball in the last minute. Yeah. Ten give that ball to Michael Jordan. You're the Michael the Jordan. <laughs> you are Michael Jordan. I don't know, but but I'm doing the best I can and I'm really like just you know, trying to just figure it all out. So let's take it back to the present moment, right here, right now, right in now. your garage, which yep. I might have to move into yep. if things yep. go south and I can't pay my bills. You should because it's warm. There's a lot of gear in <laughs> There's here. There's a lot of bikes here. Your picture. My picture's on the wall. <laughs> um, so we're all going through it together. Some people out there are having a really tough time. Some people are probably doing okay. Um, what are some things we can think about? Do, you know, to just snap us out of a funk. Mm -hmm. Well, I always come back to gratitude. Yeah. I mean, you have to be grateful. Even in the really crappy ass times, like there's <laughs> always something to be grateful for. True. And it's like that thing of like anything that you have right now yeah. has not yet been taken, 
True. Or you, you know, whether it's your health or it's this or it's that, like you have it. So yeah. find, you got to find something to be grateful for. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, you probably don't even know this, but every single time you ask me to go on like a, you know, bike trip or whatever, yeah. like if I'm able, like I always say yes, yeah. right? But I'm also aware of when it's happening, like I don't know when the last time is that you and I will go on a bike True. you know journey yeah. or i don't know the whenever i surf i'm always like i don't know when the last time is i'll get in the water and surf so True. we have to be like really here yeah. really present and be grateful for those things yeah. and we're gonna get there again too like yeah. um the, we're gonna get back to a normal yeah a you know, new normal which yeah. might be yeah. even you know better in some ways absolutely yeah like you know. It's all about the journey. It is about the journey. The and this has been quite the journey. Yeah. And I'm so grateful yeah. that you are part of my journey in my life. Uh, I love you in so many different ways. And I feel very grateful. Grateful that we're talking about today. That's right. that, grateful. That you're in my life. I love so you too. I, th I thank you. And yeah. thank you. I'm very grateful to have this channel and to have a place to share my adventures and thoughts and ideas. And I'm glad that you've gotten to know Dana, one of my favorite people on the planet and I know you love her so write down below how much you love Dana send her some love and <laughs> if you, you ever come to Boulder come to the Walnut Cafe I think this is uh, the part in your <laughs> videos where you usually say and like and subscribe like and subscribe That's right <laughs> because it is important you know um, the YouTube artist, I call him artist, yeah. because what you do, I, I get to see a lot of it firsthand, and it, it's pretty cool. But, uh, you know, it, it is how you're making your living. And yeah. So it's important to like and subscribe. If you can, if you like this content, you better like this content. No. And uh, also, you have a Patreon. A Patreon, yeah. Page. And so, is that link? That's down linked below down too? below. Great. Yeah. You're doing a great job. Thanks. You should start a YouTube you know, channel. There you go. Maybe. Or you can just be on mine whenever you yeah, want. Yeah, there you go. I'm just going to be the guest. Okay, good. Okay. Well, you are the you know, a very beloved guest in real life, my life, but also yeah. a lot of people around the world. So thank you all for, yeah. for being part of this and supporting the channel. We got this. We got this. We got, we got this. this. We got this. We, we got all this. got this. Yep. One big hug yep. for everybody yep. out there. Let's yep. give them a hug, Dana. Yep. Whoop, whoop. We're going to be okay. We love you. We're going to be High okay. Five. Bam! Bam! Boom! <laughs> 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 so just go be grateful. Yeah, go great be day. grateful. Go walk barefoot in the grass, ride your bike around the block, sing yep. Olay in a tunnel, yep. whatever. Yep. Whatever. Whatever it takes. Yep. Do it. Adios.